path you pick affect your time in Night City? It actually affects your time quite a lot throughout the whole game, but let's start at the beginning, because basically our game has three different starts depending on your life path. Uh, as an example, if you choose the street kid life path, you have lived most of your time in Night City. You know the streets, you know the gangs, you know the slang, you kind of know what's going on in the, let's say, lower life aspects of the city, which can of course give you lots of good opportunities also later on in the game. Uh, but if you start as a nomad, you actually used to be part of a nomad clan and a nomad family, because nomads that roam the deserts around Night City, that we call the Badlands, actually value their family above anything. But for one reason or another, you actually left that family behind, and now the beginning of the game for you will actually be how to get into Night City and how to make a new life there. Then you can also choose to actually be a corpo and choose the corporate life path. And that basically means that you're not at home in the streets of Night City or in the deserts of the Badlands, but actually inside a boardroom because you rose the corporate ladder of the Arasaka Corporation, which basically gives you the ability to sometimes, you know, read between the lines, read people when they're trying to do business, which of course can give you many nice opportunities later on. So this isn't just about the start of the game. Can you maybe help people understand how this translates into the gameplay? Yeah. So the thing is, we make Cyberpunk a real RPG, and part of that is that you can play your character from the start to the end. And of course, you know, we have these life paths affecting the beginning of the game, but we wanted to make it so you have your life path opportunities throughout the whole game until the, the game is over. And as an example, we do that by giving you additional options and dialogues. So I can give you one specific example. And this is a mission where you have to steal a flathead robot from the Maelstrom gang. Basically, those Maelstromers stole that flathead before from a corporate transport. And the owner of that corporate transport, Meredith Stout, wants you to do something else. And this is an optional objective. And even within that objective, we want to give you some options. So as an example, if you have a corporate life path, you basically know what Meredith Stout is really about. You can read between the lines and you can get some additional options that maybe actually later enable you to do a completely different thing with the Maelstrom gang. And if you're a nomad, you know exactly some more details about how these Maelstromers would have even been able to steal a robot like that from Meredith Stout, who's part of the very powerful Militech Corporation. As a street kid, we as an example don't give you a specific new dialogue option in that dialogue because as a street kid, you do not have a lot of experience dealing with higher up people like Meredith Stout. But we want to give you additional options that fit your life path very well. So later when you actually talk to the Maelstrom gang, one member of the gang offers you some illegal substance but as a street kid, you actually know what this is about. You can talk some shop with him and that might actually make that character like you a little bit more. So Philip, I do have a couple of extra questions for you based on the video we just saw. And the first is about nomads. So the nomad life path, this starts in a place called the Badlands. Is this somewhere you get to visit even if you don't pick nomad to start with? Uh, yes, absolutely. So the thing is, Night City is surrounded by this huge landscape that we call the Badlands. And you can go there whenever you want. So as an example, if you actually do play the Nomad life path at the start and you are in the Badlands, you can even see Night City on the horizon. And we want to give you the option later in the game, if you want, you can just take your car and drive out of the city. You can go there whenever you want. Thing is, you might not want to because the Badlands can be a pretty dangerous place at first because time has not been very kind to the Badlands. There have been many wars in the past, there's global warming, so most people that do live out there don't really have another choice about it or are nomads that love this life and are all about it and are very battle-hardened. We of course also want to tell their stories because we want to tell many many different stories throughout the cyberpunk genre which means that you will also find missions that lead you out in the badlands or where you deal with the people living there. So Philip, can you tell us a little bit more about the character Padre? He's the guy we see giving his business card to Street Kid V in the video. Who is this man? Yeah, so Padre is actually one of the fixers in Night City. 
and fixers are people that work as intermediaries. So if someone who has a lot of money needs a problem solved, they go to a fixer. And a fixer then finds people who can solve that problem. And these people are people like you, V, cyberpunks. Fixers are very territorial. So Padre specifically works from Haywood, which is where you as a street kid grew up in. So you already know him. You might have already seen another one of our fixers who is called Dexter Deshawn, and he works in a different part of the city. So specifically Padre, you might know him as a street kid, but even if you played other life paths, you might sooner or later meet him because he's operating in Haywood, which is a pretty big place with many good jobs. So if you want to make some cash there, you will sooner or later deal with Padre. Philip, thank you so much for joining us. Now on my first playthrough, pretty sure I'm going to be picking Nomad. But for those watching, we would love to know what you'll be picking. So have a think about it and send us a tweet.